Siri, you were uh, labeled a bad bridesmaid, not by one, by two of your girlfriends. What did you do to earn that title? Uh, it's not so much what I did as what I said. Uh, I went along with the whole thing. It was a great year. We did the shower. We did the bachelorettes. But basically, I just wondered why it was necessary for me to be a part of the whole wedding production and why the bridesmaid role is necessary. How bad did it get? Um, it did not go over well, but uh, it's interesting. The interesting thing about weddings is that it can be very impersonal. When uh, my friend said that I was no longer in her party, she said, it's not about our friendship, it's about my wedding, hmm. um, which is an interesting distinction that I think women can make when it comes to their big day. Well, obviously, they, they ask you to do that. Did you, you wouldn't consider saying no. To be a bridesmaid? Yeah. No, I was thrilled. I thought it was really exciting. I had never done it before, and I think it's something that every woman should try, but <laughs> not necessarily try again. What did you say specifically that peed her off? Um, I did make a couple references to her wedding, which she didn't like. She thought that I was casting her wedding in a negative light, uh, which wasn't what I was trying to do. I was just trying to point out that you need to keep a sense of humor uh, when things get a little bit hairy in the wedding preparation. But uh, yeah, she thought that, uh, that it was casting her wedding in a negative light and uh, she didn't want that to happen. Are you still friends? Yeah, we are actually. It, it took a little while, but I think uh, you know, everyone goes a little bit nuts when, around weddings, but I think in, uh, in retrospect, it went off. It was a beautiful day. She looked great. It all went well. And so I think afterwards, she was able to have, uh, you know, a sense of humor about it. It's evolved in terms of putting on a wedding uh, as technology has. There's now people who have websites where you can actually oh, yeah. go on there and make comments. And there was one comment I know that you made. I made a little joke. Yeah. <laughs> Not so funny. What did you say? Uh, she had a, an online website, as a lot of women do, and, and she had a... Um, sort of guest registry where you go on and say, you know, I can't wait till your wedding. And so she had asked uh, her bridesmaids to sign on. And uh, so everybody had signed on and said, you know, can't wait, so excited. And I just decided to make a little joke. So I said, uh, I give it six months, which she didn't think was so funny. I'd be a fly on the wall to hear <laughs> that conversation after she read it. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm guessing that this is somewhat of a badge you wear in terms of a badge of honor because you say that the etiquette hasn't evolved when it comes to weddings and it's time that it, in terms of the way we, we do it should be updated. I think so. I think there's a lot of things that happen uh, during the, the wedding, the lead up to the wedding that has been around for a long time that women don't really understand why we do it anymore. So we do it because we're supposed to do it. Um, and there's a lot of pressure associated with that without a lot of payoff and with a lot, lot, without a lot of understanding of why we're doing it. So yeah, I think we need to change it, change it up a little bit. In fact, you, you go as far as to say that this is about making another woman's fantasy come true. Yeah, it is. It's an interesting role in that way. It's the only time I think in a person's, in a girl's life where you have to do what your friend says, wear what your friend wants you to wear. You know, never again in your life are you going to be that sort of under someone else's control and have that much pressure to, to, to make everything wonderful for another person. I had some fun with this around the, uh, the newsroom talking to some of the girls who are mm -hmm. your contemporaries, uh, mm -hmm. the same age, and they were saying, well, perhaps she's jealous. Yeah, that does come up. Everyone was like, well, maybe when you have a wedding, you'll understand. And, and I'm sure that's part of it. You know, there's so, it's, it's a huge industry. It's a huge moment in a woman's life. And so definitely when, when you go through it, I'm sure there's a lot of pressure. Um, but I do think that women, you know, regardless of, of what's going on with them, you have to keep some perspective and you have to keep a sense of humor about it. And you have to realize that, that it is a bit, bit of pomp and circumstance that, that maybe is unnecessary. Is there any chance that when it comes to your big day that perhaps you'll ask them to do some of the things that you ask? I don't know if anyone will be my bridesmaid anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a possibility. You know, I have a lot of bridesmaid dresses now that I could make them wear. So... Uh, yeah, I think Green I could have some fun with it. And burgundies in the <laughs> yeah, closet. one of each. Is that part of yeah. the problem? Is there's a lot of bad taste and bad choices that people are making for you? Yeah, I think that that's the, the main thing of bridesmaids, right? Bridesmaids are associated with the bad dress, the big taffeta um, ball gown. And so I think it, it has become a bit of a joke amongst women. You know, I've been asked to be a bridesmaid, and we're all happy for our friends. Everybody wants their friends to have a good wedding. But along with that comes, oh, my God, what am I going to have to wear? So I think the dress does play into it a lot. So are there rules now to be a bridesmaid that uh, we're, people are enjoying breaking? Uh um, well, no, the brides have a lot of, um, I think, independence now in how their wedding goes down. You know, you can have it outside, you can have it inside, uh, you can have a religious ceremony or not. But bridesmaids, it's still pretty rigid. You have to have the shower, you have to have the bachelorette, you have to wear the dress. So I think the bridesmaid uh, institution is still pretty uh, set in stone. You can still become a bridesmaid and have 
fun or is it just definitely not a day of oh fun? no de definitely I think the day of is a lot of fun uh -huh. um, you know things can go wrong there's a girl in my book whose who's dress fell right off uh, in the mid middle of the wedding it just disintegrated um, but I think the day of you know it's an open bar it's dancing uh, there's a lot of love in the air I don't think it's hard to have a good time then it's just the, all the lead up stuff I think is a bit difficult for a lot of bridesmaids. So day of, that's when the drinking begins up to then. Exactly. Maybe it should start earlier. Yeah, yeah. If we had champagne at everything, it might not be so bad. All right. Siri, thanks very much. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs>